Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're looking at checking patterns that you've made in Procreate. Now it's really difficult to actually check a pattern that you've made in Procreate actually inside Procreate. And a lot of people don't have access to Photoshop. But I have an application here called PhotoPay that works pretty much the same way as Photoshop and it's got the same tools for checking patterns. So if you're familiar with Photoshop, and even if you're not, PhotoP is a really good application to use and it's free. Now I've actually got the paid version of PhotoP open here and the difference between mine and yours is just going to be that yours will have ads down the side. So everything that I'm using right now works just exactly the same in the free and the for fee version. So you'll go to PhotoP.com and this is the screen that you're going to see. Now I've already exported my pattern swatch from Procreate and I've loaded it onto my computer. So we're going to click here on Open from Computer. And here are my pattern swatches. So I'm going to grab the first of them. So I'm going to click on it and click Open. And that just opens this file inside PhotoPay. So to test our pattern, we're going to choose Select All. So you make sure that you select absolutely everything. Then you'll go to Edit and then Define New and you'll go to Pattern. So this has now been defined as a pattern in PhotoPay. So to test it, we need to fill a document with the pattern. So we'll choose File and then New. And for example, if you were creating scrapbook paper, you would be creating a document that is 3600 by 3600 pixels in size and it would be 300 ppi. So I'm just creating a document that size, but provided you create a document that is larger than your actual pattern element from Procreate, you're going to be just fine. We'll click Create. The document has to be larger than the one that you created in Procreate because you need a few repeats to be able to test and make sure that your repeats are working. So once you've created your document, you're going to choose Layer and then choose New Fill Layer and Pattern Fill and the document fills with the default pattern that is available in PhotoP. And here is the Properties panel. If you don't see that, you're going to choose Window and then just make sure you click on Properties so that you can see the Properties panel. Here, where the pattern is showing, you're going to double click. And that opens up your little pattern swatches. And the last one is going to be the one that you just created. So you'll click on it. And the document is now filled with this pattern. Now if we go back to the original document, you'll see that the orange donut is in the middle and it's the purple donut here that has been split in four. So if there are problems, they're going to be around the middle of this purple donut. So let's go back to this document and let's check our purple donut because we can be pretty sure that the orange one is okay if it came out okay from Procreate. And here's the purple donut and it's got a problem. You can see that there is a line through it. So that would tell us that this entire pattern swatch here has a problem. And so we can't use that because it's damaged. So let's just close that and let's go and open a new file so that we can test another one. File and then open. Now I'm going to test this blue one. It's going to be a little more difficult to test because all of the corners are exactly the same as the middle. So I'm just going to click Open, Select All, and make a pattern from this with Edit, Define New, and choose Pattern. Now we'll go back to the document we were working in here. I'm going to zoom out. I press Control 0 to zoom back out here so that I can see the entire document. I'm going to double click here and choose the last pattern swatch, which is the one we just created. And this time we're going to have to check both of these designs because we can't tell which of them was the one that was in the corner and which was in the middle because they're both exactly the same. So I'm just going to zoom in and make sure that there are no white lines through this pattern, which there aren't. And provided I check two of these that are adjacent to each other, I've got all the pattern elements checked and this one doesn't have a problem either. So we can see that this particular pattern works just fine in PhotoPay, and so this pattern would be okay to use elsewhere. The previous one that we had a look at is not okay. You just can't use that because it's got a fault in it. 
I hope this video helps you in checking the patterns that you create in Procreate in an easy to do way. It's a lot less fiddly than Procreate is. It gives you the ability to check your patterns and make sure that they are faultless before you go and use them, for example, on Spoonflower. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you'll be alerted when new videos are released. Until next time, my name's Helen Bradley. Thank you so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel.